Today we're going to be looking at the best hitch options for our 2012 Mercedes-Benz M-Class. Here we have our best hitch options for our Mercedes M-Class. We've got the one from Draw Tight with part number 76141 and our one from Kurt with part number C13117. Right up front, the biggest differences between these two hitches is their maximum weight ratings. The tongue weight on our draw tight is going to be 700, which is the force going down on top of the receiver, and the gross towing capacity is going to be 7,000 pounds, which is how much you can pull behind it. When using a weight distribution system, those numbers are going to remain the same. But however, our Kurt here is going to have a 600 pound tongue weight and a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. And when using a weight distribution system, the gross trailer weight rating goes up to 6,000 pounds. Now while both of these hitches use a 5 8 inch hitch pinning clip, one of the things that sets them apart is the draw tight's ability to use a J-pin. A J-pin replaces your hitch pin and clip and has a loop that comes in and goes in this smaller hole, pressing against whatever accessory you have in the receiver, holding it tight and working as an anti-rattle device. The safety chain mountings on our draw tight is going to be a loop style with a very large opening. So as you can see here, even with this big safety chain hook, it can clip on and move freely in there. Versus our Kurt, which is a plate style safety chain loop and a bit of a smaller opening there. Now while it will still work with just about all safety chains, if you look here, this larger one, it really limits the amount of travel that it has, which may end up causing the hitch to wear on the inside, or maybe your safety chain to wear a little bit on the outside. Mostly cosmetic, but maybe a concern. And the last big difference is how they install. Now while they both still attach to similar location points, the Kurt has a lot more hardware, there's a lot more brackets, there's some assembly of this required, as this drawback bar is not made onto the hitch, you actually bolt it on the front, whereas this is one solid piece, the only small pieces of hardware here is these plates in the back. And when it comes to installation, the Kurt's going to have a little bit larger brackets, especially towards the ends and the inside near the receiver, which makes it a little bit harder to get it up into place and to get everything tightened down. With the draw type being a little bit sleeker, its install goes a little bit smoother. Now we look how they're similar. They're both going to be class 3 hitches with a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver. They're both going to have roughly the same clearances. So neither one's going to have advantage over the other when it comes to looking at your accessories. As far as ground clearance, they're both going to be pretty close to 13 and a half inches. And the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the bumper, it's going to be roughly six to five and a half inches. And both hitches come with all the hardware you need to get it installed, and there's no drilling required. So in summary, when it comes to their towing capacity, we're going to have to go with the draw type. Because even without a weight distribution system, it exceeds the Kurt. And when it comes to ease of install, I'm also going to have to go with the draw type. Some of the brackets and mounting locations are slightly slimmer, making it easier to get in there, and there's less hardware to pre-assemble before you put it on the vehicle. When we look at recreational use, I'm also going to have to give that to the draw tight. It has the option for the use of a J-pin, which is a nice luxury item that will help prevent any rattle that can occur, which also can extend to longer life on any of your accessories attached to it. And last, when it comes to appearance, they're both going to be about the same. The crossbars on each are going to be hidden behind the bumper, so you're only going to be able to see the receiving end. So really at this point it's down to personal preference on which end you like better on your vehicle. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for our Mercedes-Benz M-Class. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.